Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Judge Rosalind Richter. Good evening and welcome, and it is just a pleasure to see this room filled to the brim. It is my pleasure tonight to present SAGE's Community Service Award to my dear friend, Larry Channon. I would also like to extend my congratulations to my friend Joy Thompson, and to recognize the achievements of our friend Paula Edelbrick, who will be deeply missed and is in all our hearts tonight. Larry is a senior vice president and associate general counsel in the J.P. Morgan Chase Legal and Compliance Department. He recently received an Out and Proud Corporate Counsel Award from the National LGBT Bar Association. Larry has served as co-chair of the SAGE Board and now served as co-chair of the National Leadership Council for SAGE. It would use up the remainder of my time if I listed all of Larry's achievements and the number of community organizations he has helped as a cooperating attorney and board member over the years. You can read Larry's bio in the program, and I encourage you to do that if you haven't done that already. I first really got to know Larry in 1983, when we were both part of a moot court for an appellate case being handled by Lambda Legal Defense cooperating attorney. Larry's willingness to volunteer his time and to use his training and significant legal talent to help the LGBT community was apparent from the start. We became dear friends and had another opportunity to work together when we started an LGBT mediation project that later became the Community Center Mediation Project. Despite the demands of his professional life, Larry believes in giving back and has volunteered thousands of hours in service of others. At a time when SAGE was largely unknown to the legal community, Larry introduced many of you to SAGE and you honor him by your presence here today and by the pro bono work you have done for SAGE over the years. My friend Larry personifies the term mensch, and for those who don't know what it means, it's a person of the highest integrity and honor. Larry is a true friend, a community leader, a caring life partner, and a devoted son. In an organization that honors the elders in our community, Larry demonstrates by the care he gives to his mom what it truly means to provide quality of life to someone as they age. The world would be a better place if there were more people like Larry Channon in it, but that's not possible because Larry is one of a kind. I cannot think of a better person to be honored for their contributions to the LGBT community and to SAGE. Please give your full applause and welcome to my dear friend, Larry Channon.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Woo. Uh, I'm a little o overwhelmed at the moment, but uh, let me first say thank you, Roz. You're not only my dear friend for nearly 30 years, but one of the true legends in our community. I just want you to know that I'm also excited to be on the stage with Florence Henderson, who I saw in a tryout in Philadelphia, where I'm from, in 1963, when I was 14, of the show, The Girl Who Came to Supper. I still remember a certain number from that show, which goes, I'll give you one line, London is a little bit of all right. Nobody can deny that's true. All right. <laughs> I know you want to eat, so I'll get going. <laughs> Thank you for this extraordinary honor. It moves me more than words can say, in part because SAGE is an organization I love so much. I could thank each and every one of you in this room, but I know you want to eat. So for now, I send special thanks to my partner of 18 years, and at some not too distant future, my spouse, Jack. Where are you? I can't see you. and my devoted family, friends, and colleagues, including my wonderful colleagues at J.P. Morgan Chase and the truly amazing support from the many law firms here tonight. I also send my congratulations to Joy Thompson for her outstanding service to this community. I know we will hear more about Paula Etzelbrick later this evening, but I want to share a few thoughts. Paula and I worked closely together in the mid-1980s and early 1990s when I was on the Lambda Legal Commi uh, Committee. I will always remember Paula for her keen intellect, passion, warmth, and above all, her sense of humor, which we needed to get through some of those meetings. I will also remember that Paula spearheaded Lambda's first conference in the 1980s on lesbians choosing motherhood. My dear friend Richard Feldman, who I believe is over there, and I, and Richard and I at least then were known as honorary lesbians. We were two of the only four men who attended that conference. It was a terrific afternoon. I'm sure that Paula was very proud of that conference and of the two children that she and Suzanne later raised. I want to talk briefly about two other things tonight. The role of this community in my life and SAGE. How grateful and proud I am to have been an active part of this amazing community for well over 30 years, starting in the 1970s. From the outset of my coming out process, I realized how critical it was to get involved in the LGBT community, not only as a, as a source of support and family, but to ensure that our rights would be recognized and protected and our unique and diverse lives would be valued and celebrated. So while I am being honored, this honor is shared with the fantastic individuals in this room and elsewhere 
that have been so much a part of my growth as an individual and our growth as a community. I thank you for giving me so much. I would add that, from my vantage point, nowhere is our progress more evident than in the private sector, where many of the law firms here tonight, as well as I'm very proud to say my company, J.P. Morgan, and other companies who have supported tonight, have led the way in providing an inclusive environment that respects diversity in all of its forms. Indeed, One of my greatest pleasures as a lawyer is working side by side with top-notch LG, LGBT partners and associates and their allies, many of whom are here tonight. What a change from when I graduated law school in 1973. Finally, but last but not least, a big shout out to SAGE, its terrific staff led by Michael Adams, and its board, and for what SAGE represents. Although SAGE has been a vital organization for over 30 years, for me, it represents the next stage in the evolution of our community. A little personal story now. My father died of Alzheimer's in 2003 at the age of 87. My mother, who is 93, resides in a nursing home facility in nearby in West Orange, New, New Jersey. Unfortunately, she's too frail to be here tonight, although I know she would have loved meeting all of you. Jack and I have been intimately involved in my parents' care for many, many years. I couldn't imagine what my parents' lives would have been like without Jack and me, not only as caregivers, but as advocates. Well, for many of us, there is no biological or other close family. SAGE is there for us. SAGE is our family. That's why I joined the board on 24 hours notice in 2003 and why I feel so passionately about SAGE's work. Stated simply, how we care and respect our elders says as much about who we are and where we have come as a community as does any other issue. One more brief note before I close. When I was growing up in Northeast Philadelphia in the 1950s and 1960s, my grandparents would spend time at a senior center sponsored by the Jewish community called the Neighborhood Center. It was a nice building. Indeed, in the 1960s, my mother gave programs in Yiddish to the seniors who participated in, in the center's activities. How exciting it is that here Finally, in 2011, we are at last opening up our very own SAGE Senior Center, which will include program sites in all five New York City boroughs. Indeed, this is what our community is all about and what caring for our LGBT elders is all about. So let's be proud and excited for who we are and what we can become. Thanks in no small part to Sage and all of you. Thank you again for the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Please welcome a director of global business services at Deutsche Bank and an esteemed member of the SAGE Board's Executive Committee, David Cantor. Good evening, everybody. I'm going to take 
30 seconds of executive privilege here and go off script for a moment. And I just want to say to Larry Shannon, thank you, thank you, thank you. Good evening. My name is David Cantor, and I am proud to be a member of the SAGE Board of Directors. The crucial work of, on behalf of LGBT older people that you are supporting here tonight is carried out every day by a dedicated team of staff and volunteers who love what they do. They work tirelessly at SAGE's headquarters in Chelsea at our locations in Harlem and the LGBT Community Center and our national advocacy offices in Washington, D.C. and Chicago. When you meet a member of the SAGE staff, you will undoubtedly be struck not only by their talents, but also by an unwavering sense of their passion, compassion, and their devotion. Our dedicated staff serve more than 2,000 LGBT elders every year in programs as varied as our Back to Work program for older adults, Sage Works, to our Friendly Visitors program for homebound LGBT elders. Each year, Sage social workers also assist more than 500 older adults in dire need of support. Many of the Sage staff are here with us tonight and I'd like you to join me in giving them a well-deserved round of applause. You may wonder what inspires SAGE staff and volunteers and our thousands of donors and supporters to be so committed to SAGE's vital work. The answer is simple. The inspiration comes from our LGBT elder pioneers who courageously came of age at a time when it was extraordinarily difficult to be their true selves. They paved the way for us and now it's our turn to honor, respect, and support them. One of these inspiring pioneers, Phyllis Siegel, is joining us here tonight. Last summer, Phyllis and her partner of many years, Connie, became the very first LGBT couple to be legally married in New York City. Please join me in welcoming SAGE constituent Phyllis Siegel and the SAGE staff who Phyllis and all of our constituents inspire. Thank you. I'm Phyllis Siegel and I wish I could see you. <laughs> it's nice that uh, you're all here and I thank you. I have to tell you my story. When I came to SAGE in 1986, maybe it was 1886, I don't remember. <laughs> the staff was made up of one and a half persons and a lot of volunteers. That's how I became a volunteer. I found at SAGE community. I found my voice and I found family, loving family. 
a family that I helped to grow and that helped me grow. All of us working to make this thing called SAGE come together. We laughed, we cried, and we were all one. Who knew that all that laughter, all those tears, would come together this year and bring with it marriage equality. I have to thank all of those who worked long and hard to make this happen. And Sage, this year is especially significant for me. This year, Connie Copelove and I became legal spouses. Thank you, Sage. I got to give you a hot ten. Thank you. Thank you, Phyllis, for your amazing words. You truly are an inspiration. I would like to take a moment to also recognize an outstanding group of leaders who grow to extraordinary lengths to ensure that SAGE is here serving our community. They do this by giving their time, their talents, and their tireless energy to SAGE. I'd like to ask the SAGE Board of Directors to please stand.